How powerful is the Pantera? Today, we're gonna show you how we test it and we're gonna find out. How we tested the power output of our board. Compared to other brands that they rate the power output on based on uh, peak power of the motors, we actually base on the real uh, performance of all the components. So for example, what the battery can give, also uh, controller and uh, motors, obviously. This is important because that's how much power you actually gonna get out of your board when you squeeze that throttle to 100%. This is the dyno that we are gonna use it for today. Uh, we have uh, another one, more refined one, to another factory, but for today, this is what we're gonna work with. So, first step, we need to put the board on top of it. Second step, we need to remove the deck. There we go. Third step is hook uh, the board, so to secure and make sure that it doesn't fly as we're testing. The more we tie this down, more force will be into the wheel. The wheels are also now completely pumped, as you can see, uh, to create extra grip. And when I try and turn it, as you can see, it's very hard. That's how we can create a more or less braking force. The fourth step is to connect the instruments. So here we read the current, here we read the voltage. Fifth step is to turn on the board, wait for pairing, and get full throttle. What we are trying to achieve here, we want to read the power output of, uh, out of these four motors. To do so, we have uh, the voltage reading and we have the amp reading. So once we have the peak of uh, uh, amp, we're going to multiply what is the real-time voltage at the time and that will give us uh, the power output. And this is how we tested uh, our boards. Uh, as you can see, we rated this board to 8,000 watts. Just as a reminder, our standard G4X uh, is uh, rated for 6,000 watts and our G4 tool drive is rated for 4,000 watts. I uh, hope you enjoy. If you'd like to see more video like this uh, technical video, just let us know in the comments and we'll do it.